Nearly half the island of Puerto Rico is experiencing a power outage after Hurricane Ernesto passed through. Let's bring in Juan Saka, the president and CEO of Luma Energy. Uh, Juan, thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate it. And sorry to hear what's going on in your community. Our thoughts are with you. Thank you, Marco. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, as of right now, how many people are without power? 728,506 out of 1.5 million customers. So what areas have been hit the most? Mostly the eastern part of the island, but we were, were experiencing uh, outages throughout the island because you know the rain continues. The main cause of the outages right now is wind. Anytime you have winds of 50 miles an hour and above, that's a problem. Uh, but in Puerto Rico, there's a particular problem that you should know about, which is that the vegetation under the lines, the trees that are right in between the lines uh, cause you know, any movement in the lines for outages to take place. There is a project that Luma started just a few weeks ago that will last the next three years, which is clearing 16,000 miles of vegetation under the transmission lines. And that will bring down the outages because 50% or above of the outages have to do with vegetation. And when you have wind and combine it with that situation, then the situation, uh, you know, is uh, worse than it normally would be. So what are you and your teams doing right now to get power back to more than 700,000 people there on the island? We're more prepared than ever. Luma started in June of 2021. We have 11 centers of distribution for materials. We have $269 million of materials ready, whereas three years ago, or back in Maria, there might have been 80 million. We have over 1,500 um, of our professionals out in the field doing two things. One is assessing, and the other one is fixing. Because one thing also for the public to understand is that, you know, while a line may be touched and the system de-energizes itself to protect itself and to protect lives, we can fix that very quickly. But if we have a substation that is flooded and we have one particular case, that'll take longer. So we're very much, very much well prepared. We're well coordinated with the government. Uh, FEMA has been of great help uh, to the island of Puerto Rico, to Luma, and all of the local authorities, including the mayors, are out there fighting for Puerto Rico. And as the clock ticks on, what advice do you have for people there without power right now? What should they be doing? Safety is number one. Stay away from the lines. The system is still in transformation, which started back in June of 2021. So we have a fragile system where you could have down lines. It's important that you stay inside your home and that you remain safe. And if you have any trouble, to call Luma at 844-888-5862 is the phone number that you must call, and we'll take care of you right away. And Juan, this isn't the first time that a hurricane has affected Puerto Rico. Has the electrical infrastructure, I know you talked about it a little earlier, has it fully recovered from the previous natural disasters that you faced? Not at all. Um, I was here during Hurricane Maria. I was running two telecom companies, and I was part of that recovery. That was in 2017. The funds to, for the recovery of Puerto Rico did not arrive until the end of the year 2020. Luma started in June of 2021. There were zero projects at the time in deployment. Luma now has 300 projects that we're discussing with FEMA, out of which about 150 are in progress or finished. So we still have a long ways to go to get the infrastructure back in shape, but we're getting it done. And again, how long could it take before power is fully restored to the people there on the island? It'll depend on the damage made. So let me explain that just very briefly. If right. the lines were touched and there was no damage to the line, then we can restore quickly. But if we have you know, trees over the lines or we have a substation that's flooded, that, that could take longer. Uh, we have one particular case in Vieques and Culebras, which are adjacent smaller islands. We understand that the damage there is limited, so we should be able to bring them up fast. So we will know more about that as time passes. So in the next 24 hours, we should have a much clearer uh, situation as to you know how long it might take.
All right, Mr. Juan Saka, the president and CEO of Luma Energy there in Puerto Rico. Thank you very much, and the best of luck to you and your teams and the people there on the island. We appreciate it. Thank you, DeMarco. Have a good afternoon. You too.